Hi Larry. I figured I'd show you a video of uh, how I made my antenna launcher. This is just the base pot. This is just the base pot. I don't. Here's the um, the barrel that fits in here, but I'll do that after. This section right here is a three-inch diameter piece of PVC PVC pipe. It runs from here to about here, and that's about 15 inches long. It's got an end cap on it, a three inch end cap. I put another piece of PVC pipe around this three inches. I don't know the size of this. It must be obviously a little bigger in diameter. That was just to strengthen it. And then I have a reduce, this section right here from here to here is a reducer to reduce it down. And then I made it another reducer to this valve. And you can buy all these pots at Home Depot. And they're all put on with uh, plumber's cement um, that comes in two jars, two little cans. One's to clean it and one's to cement it on. And it really seals it, makes it watertight. So this is the end cap. This is just another little piece, a piece of pipe to strengthen it. This is the reducer. And if you look at this, here's the valve stem, the tire valve stem I got from a car um, pot store. I drilled through this reducing section right into the tank, the three inch tank, and I sealed this with plumber's um, cement also and tightened it down. There's a washer and a knot, you tighten it down. And then this section right here with the, um, the valve, this is the, the valve, a plumber's valve, you can buy it at Home Depot. And this is what I use as my trigger and then this bottom piece right here, I just made it so I can hold it. And that's just strapped on with these straps that you can buy at Home Depot. So here's the actual barrel. And this is one and a quarter inside diameter. This is one and a quarter inside diameter for the barrel, which fits into this valve. <clears throat> here's the piece I'm going to launch. And this is like, I think... I'm not sure, I think this is three quarter inch PVC pipe with two end caps on it. And then on one of the end caps I drilled and I put a little paper clip. Drilled two holes in it and put this paper clip because that's what I'm going to tie the fishing line onto. And these end caps are just small enough to fit inside this pipe. I don't have the fishing reel with me. But I mount the fishing reel right about here on the barrel with the same kind of clamps I mount this base handle with. I mount it right here. So I put the uh, fishing line, which I think I use around between 8 and 10 pound fishing line, to this little um, paper clip. Let it go down inside all the way down from here. So the fishing line's going right down there. My Fishing reel is mounted right here with these clamps, and I fill in about 45 pounds, 45 psi for this tank. Aim it, open the valve, and then it fires. So I hope that helps you out. If not, you can call me or ask me some questions. Okay? We'll see you later. Bye bye.